Hello, IGN. My name is Jose Otero. I am here with Martin Sliva. Hey, Brownie Brown. It is Brownie Brown, and this is uh, actually a game as a collaboration between Brownie Brown, HAL Laboratory, Shigesato Itoi, and the game is... Mother 3. Mother 3. That's this exciting. is the much sought-after video game for yep. a lot of EarthBound fans. Yep, yep, uh, yep. It came out in 2006. Yeah, 2006, April 20th. And uh, there have been fan campaign upon fan campaign for the past almost a decade, actually. Yeah, we're... we're Really, really wanting this game to come to the West, yeah. uh, and for good reason. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that right yeah. now. I mean, as you guys know, uh, Mother 3 is the sort of sequel to Earthbound, which is known as Mother 2 in Japan. Uh, this is a game that came out in Japan uh, for the GBA to rave reviews. Uh, never got a real localization here in the West, although no. there is an amazing Fran translation. Fran translation? A Fran Mirabella translation. No, it wasn't by Fran Mirabella. Uh, it was by our good friends at Starman.net. Yeah. Uh, more uh, specifically, a couple of folks got together and yeah. uh, put together a really, really good yeah. Fran translation. So good, in fact, they offered it for free. Yeah. If Nintendo ever wants it, Nintendo, if you're no. listening, these people are out but there. I have played through Mother 3 using that translation, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, yes. So, so, so what I'm doing right now, really quickly, is that even though you have the option to uh, okay, name characters. Characters. Yep. The game has a suggestion sure. for all of them, so yep. you can name them whatever you want. But uh, I just basically stuck to the names that yep. came with it. So uh, you might recognize that little blonde boy as uh, the one on the top left as Lucas. Lucas. From, uh, Smash That's Bros. how he's Brawl. Said. Yeah. Lucas. Lucas. Uh, from Smash Brothers Brawl. He's His the brother. sort of analog to Ness in this game. Yep, and he has a brother, Klaus. Yep. Their father. Uh, the next one underneath him is Flint. Flint. Uh, Hinawa? Hinawa's the mom. And, and what's the dog's name again? Uh, I don't know, probably Doggy. In the, in the, in the translation, it was Boney. Boney yeah. the dog. Absolutely. Uh, your favorite thing is love. Your favorite food is Japanese words. Yeah, <laughs> Japanese <laughs> words. Um, so these, uh, the, the world of Mother, and specifically of Earthbound, has uh, sort of, there, there's just a unique sort of story being told. I feel like yep. not enough games really tell this kind of story. Yep, yep, it's yep. sort of very heartfelt. Mm -hmm. There's a very earnest message somewhere inside of it. Yep. But it's also kind of goofy and weird and strange in other ways yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, the original Earthbound for Super Nintendo was that really cool sort of weird look at modern American and Americana. As you yeah, go through these strange absolutely. sort of uh, little villages and big cities and places yeah. that look like Vegas and places that look like Miami. Um, do a really good job with sort of like art and pastiche and pop culture at the time. Yeah. Uh, but this game, uh, while it kept, you know, the aesthetics and a lot of the feel, uh, I, I felt like this game went in a much more emotional direction. Yeah, um, oh, right from the yeah, start. Yeah, right from the start. Oh, man, I mean, so I don't know no spoilers can, here. Yeah, we're not going to spoil it, yeah. but like some, some like legit stuff happens very early in the game. And just like you, you wouldn't think because the, the, you know, the graphics are sort of cartoony and the characters are – Obviously, little sprite brace dudes, but like the emotion it gets in, in, deep. Their, in their mannerisms and in their actions, you're just like, I did not expect this to yeah. happen this early. In fact, you, yes, you, heart of stone listener, yeah. may cry by the end of Mother Three yeah. because the message uh, that is part of it is is very touching. Yeah, absolutely. In a lot of ways, yeah. And, uh, you know, and it's also very intentional. I think you absolutely nailed it. That uh, this is this is in a lot of ways a love letter to sort of Americana. Yeah. Um, through the lens and the eyes of a Japanese person. Yeah, Because yeah, Shigesato Itoi is a foreigner. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this, uh, you know, from... It, it's not a sequel, like a direct story sequel to Earthbound, although there are definitely uh, nods to, to characters and places and events in Earthbound, some uh, more sort of subtle and some, you know, by the end of the game, some a bit more obvious. But Yeah. So just like a Pokemon RPG would start, you start in your room. Or like many RPGs start, I guess. Yeah. You start in your room. Your hair is a mess. You've got bedhead. You yeah. go down to speak to mom. You do want to go out and play, but uh, Earthbound is not done with you yet because <laughs> you need to change out of your jammies you first. Dressed, just like in, uh, uh, you cannot go outside yeah. that way. Man, it's roughly the, what the she's saying. The number of amazing RPGs that start with a character waking up. Yeah. Or just games. Oh, yeah. Like no, it's past, so cool. Chrono Trigger. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it starts out as just an average day. Yeah. Then it becomes a lot more. And then the, the pigmen and the dinosaurs. But come. how many games will let you charge into the back of your mom's chair and she <laughs> gives you something for it? That is the true test. Yeah. Uh, right so, there. yeah, there's a bit more. Uh, there's some more sort of moves you have uh, in comparison to Earthbound. That charging move is a big thing that you have to use to mm -hmm. sort of solve puzzles and to yeah. fight certain enemies. My, my most fascinating. Uh, oh, man. So the fan translation handles uh, what's happening here really well. And I'm pretty sure a lot of this text was already here. Animals when you all talk to you. these animals, yeah, they all have something to say. Uh, that's sort of unique and, <laughs> and weird. Yeah. Um, but more importantly, um, the the battle mechanics of Earthbound. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, of Mother Three, 
are bar none some of the most amazing uh, yeah. or inspired I've seen in RPG yeah, because yeah. it's not just about the simple fight and choose a you know sort of contemporary magic spell B or what have yeah. you. Uh, it it very much has a lot to do with you playing the role of a metronome yep. and following up the attack on beat. So you are tapping the attack button in tune to the song, in time to the song, yeah. and if you do that right, you can chain up an additional 16 hits. Yeah, which is awesome. Uh, you know, th there are games that have sort of that uh, rhythm-based component to its battle systems. Like, you know, the Mario, uh, the Mario RPG series has had sort of the active battles where you want to uh, hit the button right before an attack. But this is much, this is taking, you know, music, which is, you know, of a lot of our favorite RPGs, that's one of the most memorable parts of any, you know, of any Square game. Everyone sings back on the music. But it takes that and then strips it to its beat. And if you can sort of catch the beat of each song, yep. then you just become this powerhouse in battle. Take a minute also to look at the sprites themselves. Yeah. I mean, Brownie Brown is known for yeah. making really, really yeah. good-looking sprite-based games. I mean, that dinosaur in the background that's sleeping, and you can see it breathing, and its yeah. nose, its nostrils are flaring up. Yep. Uh, and they currently, I believe they changed their studio name. Now they're called 1UP One One Studios. Yep. Uh, I think they're doing a lot more work with Nintendo these days. Yeah. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. But Mother 3 did not start out as a Game Boy Advance no. game. EarthBound in 64. Fact, it was EarthBound 64. And uh, what surprised a lot of people was that when Mother 3 became... Uh, a thing, and it became yeah. the project that came out of Earthbound 64. A lot of what people had seen in those videos that they showed at yeah. like Space World were in this game. Yeah. So clearly, the story and most of this stuff transferred over from there, yeah, but absolutely. for whatever reason, they ran into their limitation where they couldn't do it. Yeah, now, you granted, you're seeing a lot of text now. Sorry about that. Yeah, no you worries. were going to say. Uh, no, yeah. One of the characters, uh, the main characters that people saw in Earthbound 64 in those screens was Flint, who's the sort of cowboy dad. Uh, and that's who, uh, you know, you see him sort of the same. He has the same general aesthetics. You see a lot of the same enemies, same settings, and everything. Uh, so it's really interesting how you know a lot of times with games, you'll they'll evolve as you know if they're delayed a while, they'll evolve into the next console. Whereas this sort of devolved, not in a bad way, but just sort of went from a a ambitious console RPG to uh, to a really great handheld RPG. And I am committing violence against dinosaurs, yep. but there is actually a reason why they're teaching Lucas at this point how to use his charge ability and how to knock into things. Um, although that one was a super delayed reaction. Yeah. But we are going to get our first fight in a few seconds. Um, it, and also, you know, I mean, it would be great to kind of take this RPG from sort of the middle and show you a little more of its battle mechanics. Yeah. But trust us in that we don't really want to spoil this game for you. Yep. And there's a lot of really special moments. And, you know, maybe one day we're actually going to get to... I, I want to believe that Nintendo is eventually going to put this out. I've wanted to believe that for a while. Yeah, a lot of us have. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's true that we're not entirely sure. So... I hope that this is finally going to trigger. This should be the one. I feel and like it's you, not. Have to, you have to talk to some folks. Yeah, I feel I like I have a speak Japanese. Yeah, is, uh, so we're kind of fumbling this through. Is a bit tough. Yes. Oh, here we go. And he comes. So this bug got beef apparently, yeah. and it's about to get squashed. Yeah. Um, but uh, even these dinosaurs, they're a very important part of what's going to happen in the early part of this game. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and again, no spoilers for the sake of, of you know, just introducing you to this but yeah. here is the battle system so visually it looks a lot like earthbound yeah and if yeah. you see at the bottom there are two st obviously those two show our hp and our pp pp yeah. are like magic points yeah. but uh what is cool here is um the way that rhythm system works yeah. now, i'm gonna try to get it on beat but i can't promise you anything yeah no, i didn't get it okay yeah, that was so a two you. hit so, so the thing is you're, you're going to sort of the beat of the song which eventually you get a uh you get a spell that sort of puts the enemy to sleep, and it, it strips away a lot of the uh, extraneous noise of the song, and then you just hear like the the thud of the of the tempo, uh, yep. and that's the thing that you can you can kind of capture. And each enemy almost has their own song, and so yep. when you learn you're facing different enemies, that you have to hit them at a different beat. Yep, and yep. some of them are faster, some yep. of them are slower. Yep. Yep. Like it's all and over some the of them, place. Some of them mix it up. It's not yeah, always they change like one, tempo. One. Yep, yep, yes, yep. absolutely. So really quick, last thing to point out before we leave the screen is that there uh, the health points are sort of in the in the style of an odometer. Yeah. And what's really cool about that system is that when you take a really heavy hit, you can actually quickly jump to a healing item and prevent it before yep. the entirety of that yeah. attack damage is registered. Yeah. That's the thing they carried over from the original Earthbound, yep. uh, or excuse me, Mother 2. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so that's just something Yeah, and even if you could take a, a hit that will kill you, but if you're able to either finish the fight or heal before that, then the odometer will stop. Yep. Which I always thought was such a cool idea. Absolutely. And here is Mom, uh, Hinawa, who... Uh, 
you know, uh, notice the dad isn't around. Actually, that's another interesting thing is, uh, you know, we always talk about the amount of absentee dads in RPGs yeah, specifically, yeah. but this dad is just not here. Yeah. You do eventually take over as, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, that. Yeah, that, yeah uh, uh, very, uh, pretty early in the game, actually. Take yeah. Over so we're going back for our favorite food, which was, according to Marty, Japanese words. Yeah, Japanese words. But, uh, up, like, breakfast. Yeah. They're heading over. This and yeah, like, this uh, look the at the way, from Park. even the way the uh, characters move, I yep. love that there's sort of a personality yeah, that's just kind of naturally given off. Um, yeah. Even uh, you, you get to control a character later in the game who he's a master thief, but he has a gimp leg. Yeah. So he just walks funny through yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. He even runs funny through the whole yeah. thing. And every character just sort of presents themselves. And there's a lot of talking to you, the player, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, what he's sort of doing yeah. right now. A lot of fourth wall breaking. If you played or found on Super Nintendo, you are very familiar with what oh we're yeah. talking about because yeah, yeah. there is some of that in there yeah. as well. You gotta if you haven't played Earthbound, go do that. Download it on Virtual Console. Go download it. Buy yeah, it. totally download available. Su support uh, the Earthbound series. Yeah, it's definitely worth your time. Yeah, the best. with that, we only showed a little bit of battle, but I think we've shown enough. I think we've shown enough. We're yeah, leave these, uh, we're gonna leave it uh, when everything's happy. Nothing bad's happened yet. Yeah, nothing bad <laughs> has happened yet. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you just saw us play Mother Three, which is part of our 125 Let's Plays celebrating Nintendo's 125th anniversary. That's a thing. They've been an uh, entertainment company for a really long time, only making video games up until fairly recently. Uh, w uh, recently, by like we're saying, the past yeah, three 30, decades, yeah, yeah, yeah. three or four decades. But regardless, we do want to showcase some of the best things they've ever made, and we totally feel Mother 3 deserves Absolutely. to be on that list. Yep. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for watching this, and for more, hopefully more, Mother 3 oh, coverage, we're Marty. We're going to do it. We're going to do it one day. Water. Yes. Keep it right here at IGN. Bye, Hanawa. <laughs>